हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग टीसीएस एनक्यूटी एग्जाम ऑन 15 जनवरी आई हैव गॉट सो मच रिक्वेस्ट रिगार्डिंग टीसीएस एनक्यूटी कंटेंट्स एंड मटेरियल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू एवरीवन फॉर सच एंथुसियाज्म इन माय कंटेंट एंड बिलीविंग इन माय मटेरियल्स राइट विद इन वेरी फ्यू डेज आई एम गोइंग टू रिलीज द मटेरियल्स सो बी ट्यून टिल द डेट राइट Okay, as you know, we'll have two coding questions. One is from basic concept and second one is from advanced concept. So, you'll have total 45 minutes to solve those. Now, today we'll cover one of the previous year questions which is very important because the same concept questions is repeated, right? So, let's see what's the question. So, the question is, a supermarket maintains a pricing format for all its products a value n is printed on each product when the scanner reads the value n uh, on the item the product of all the digits in the value n is the price of the item the task here is to design the software such that given the code of any item n the product of all the digits of, val of value should be computed right so this question was actually repeated on 2021 so here is the sample input 5244 and the output is 160 how i am explaining actually what we have to do just uh, multiply all the digits one by one right so that's it right so 5 multiply by 2 that is 10 multiply by 4 that is 40 multiply by 4 that is 160 right so this is the output so i hope you understood what you have to do right so we can solve the problem in different way uh, you can take uh, the number as a string at first then you can convert that into a character array then uh, you can multiply one by one right and you can run a while loop and then uh, store the last digit and multiply the number and store the value in a variable right so this way you can solve the problem it might be that you have another uh, process another procedure to solve the problem right okay let me solve the problem using java right so what we have to do at first let's uh, create the scanner class object so scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot in right and as soon as we give a uh, system dot in i mean we create a scanner class object we have to import the scanner class right okay now take the input int s sorry n is equal to sc dot next int and now what we have to do we have to just run a while loop until or unless n not equal to zero right so how do we solve the problem uh, at first we will take the last digit in a variable then we will uh, multiply the last digit with the previous one uh, and so on right and then we will divide the number by 10 so that it is reduced by one digit right okay so at first let me take the remainder of the number so the number is n mod 10 okay this is the last digit so at first we have to initialize the remainder okay okay now we have to store the multiplication into a variable right so for that uh, let's let me take the variable like um digit right okay so digit is equal to this sorry remainder multiply by the digit itself right so we have to initialize the digit as one right because we will have to multiply the digit one by uh, remainder at first then i mean the last digit at first then we have to multiply the result i mean the digit in with, with the previous element of the last right i mean second last element there and so on right okay so now what we have to ready we have to reduce the number by one uh, so one digit so just divide by 10 then this will be reduced right okay everything is fine now just print the digit and we will get the desired output right so let me run it 
so let's see if it's right or wrong so the number is let's say 5244 so output should be 160 and it is 60 let me uh, okay let me show that uh, 52440 right so what should be the output for 52440 5, 52440 that would be 0 right because anything multiplied by 0 will be 0 right okay let me take another input uh, let's say 1 2 3 1 2 4 5 so output should be 1 multiply by 2 2 multiply by 4 8 multiply by 5 that is 40 right okay so output is 40 right so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used in java right so if you now want the solution in python then please let me know in the comment section i will provide solution in python or you can use uh, the python logic by yourself so let me see who, uh, who is the person uh, give the answer in python at first right so i hope this video added value to your career so if you want more such content then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist of nqt so that you will be updated right so thank you for today's session